Alrighty, Steve. We're back for another week of Smoking the Truth. Boy, how you feeling, sir? I'm actually feeling amazing, man. I oh, mean, yeah. A lot, uh, <laughs> a lot better than I was feeling on Friday. I know, man. You be, what, you, what you got done? Remind me again what you got done last week on Friday? Oh, I had uh, two impacted um, wisdom teeth pulled from my bottom. Yeah. Oof. So, that's, yeah. that's rough. But you got it. You yeah. got it through. No, nothing but soup. <laughs> nothing but soup. <laughs> hey. Yeah. And talking like a lisp. Hey, that's a blessing. I still you. I st- hey, you did it. You did it. Yeah, you, I know. You got it, it, through it. It, it. it wasn't nothing. It was it like wasn't nothing, 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 nothing. But I still got a little bit more of a journey to go, and I got this. So you got this, man. How you? Well, man. Whoa, we got a we got a heavy topic today, brother. I'll tell you right from the beginning. I'm not I'm not lying. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we got a heavy yeah. topic today. So, Very true. Derek Chapman got. Sentence. Convicted. Yep. He was he's finally convicted for the murder of George Floyd. It's time. It happened. He got three charges in. And everybody posting every on social media, you know, people celebrating. Other people are sad and you know, it's a mix of emotion. For me, it's a mix of emotion. For you, you already told me your opinion. It's a mix of emotions, you know. Seeing somebody, you know. I guess get what he deserved, you know, in some words, you know. But yeah, I mean, to me, to me, it's just, it's accepting accountability for the actions that you put forth. Of course, does that make sense? Of course, of course. You, like, you... no, no person should ever have to die unless they're going gung ho out there. And like, I'm not saying that they should even die at that. If they have a way to de-escalate that without actually taking that life, that'd be amazing. But what I'm saying is this situation just wasn't it's interesting. right. It's interesting. You know, it's hard to see, you know, George Floyd family, you know, go through this. You know, some one of their family members die, you know. It's yeah. hard to see somebody, you know, go down like that from the police, you know. We, when we think of the police, you know, we think of, you know, somebody who's going to protect us when we need them. Somebody who, you know, who's there, you know, when we need them. Yeah, definitely. It's like you seeing the police doing things like this. It's like, can we trust you now? That's the question. That's the question that comes like, to you, you know? When the police were made, they were supposed to be somebody to look up to, not somebody to like live in fear of. Like People walking down the road, uh, they, they shouldn't have to fear for their own lives whether they're going to be gunned down next. Like, or or murdered some kind of other way. Mm-mm, not at all. Not not, not at all. Not at all. And this has been going for years and years. This is not the first time we've seen this. This has been going no. before we were yeah. born. Before we were born. But I'm glad that they use their voice. The voice is very strong if you use it right. If it, I think if it wasn't for the people's voice, how they reacted to this situation, yeah. it wouldn't got this far at all. No, it wouldn't have. It would have been overlooked. People, boys, matters here. 100%. It does. If you use it right. If you use it right. That's the thing. If so, you use it right. Derek Shavin. Don't quote me on that last name. Yeah. <laughs> he he was convicted with three different uh, three different charges. And I think that was... A, that's insane. Um, that's what, deep. What, what, was, uh, what was the three charges again? If I'm not mistaken... I'm reading hey, here CNN right now. The the second degree unintentional murder is uh-huh. imprisonment of not more than 40 years. That's one of them. The maximum sentence. The third, the third degree, degree murder, murder is imprisonment of not more than, than 25, 25 years. years. And then he got the maximum sentence for a second degree manslaughter. That is 10 years or $20,000. Check it out. I, I guess that's a bond. That's a bond. Let's get that. Let's give that as a bond. Bell. 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 Yeah. So you're gonna be there for a good, you know, life. You know, it might, as well, might as well say it's life. I mean, to add up all those years, bro, and he looked like he's he's close to his forties. I, I can say from looking at the pictures of him. Yeah, he he might even be in his. 40s, he might be in his forties. So he's definitely gonna be there for until you know the human average life it's, span it, is like eighty. So 
that adds up to to you know that. Yeah, but you never you never know. What but what what are, what are your feelings on this? You think you think do you think that the system did the right thing when it comes to you know to kill somebody? Yes. We put your way. What you did? Accountability. Accountability. It's taking accountability for your actions. Hundred percent, I agree with you on that. Like, <clears throat> like you, you know what you did. You got your sentence. Now I know the justice system ain't the best thing in the world, and people have been convicted for years. For things they they didn't even do. Yeah, for years they didn't even do. Like, it's it's sideways. It's bad. I think this is one of the best example that when the people is hurt. Number one, mm-hmm. when you do something wrong, and number three, you get you get what you deserve. <laughs> this is the perfect, you know, chemistry right here. Mm-hmm. And you know, like they asked me early, like how you feel about it. I mean, like he got what he deserved. You know, like at the end of the day, you cannot. Like we talked before last week episode, you know, talking about the 12 universal laws. If you don't put the good energy in the universe, do not expect anything good back. <laughs> karma mm-hmm. would hunt you back. And I think this is his karma, you know, some type of way, paying back for him. It's like you got you to gotta know how to take action to certain things. Like There's got to be another way. It got to be another way, bro. It's got to be another way. You cannot tell me, like, we don't have any other way. Like, the police people are not prepared enough to treat this type of situation differently. Yeah. Like, all they've upgraded was their firearms and no other way to... Like... De-escalate a situation. That shouldn't be needed. That shouldn't be That shouldn't be the case. That shouldn't be the case. That should not be still the case. Today's day. In today's day and age, 2021, people should not be dying for like this. It's just not fair enough. And like you said, like let's take it back. You got to be accountable for things you do in life. Yeah, very true. Which leads us into our next little part of it. Of course, the next half of this. Like, you know, accountability starts with you. You know, it starts with you, Steve. You yeah, know. it does. It's, it's taking obligation or willingness to accept responsibility or to account for one's actions. If you did it, accept that you did it. No matter who you are. I'm tired of seeing people because they think they have a title, they have this profession, or behind your uniform, mm-hmm. you just get to do whatever you please. And no, no, no. No, sir. No, no, man. I, I don't like that cockiness. It's like <laughs> somebody gave you too much power in your brain went cuckoo. Ex- you know you know what I'm trying to get you? Like, no, 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 no. Please, no. We're not, we're, this is not, this is not it. Just because you have a status, different type of status of other people, those mm-hmm. not put you above them and do whatever you feel with the power. Yeah. Hmm. And I know we've seen many cases, you know, we don't have to go through that. I know we've seen all the, you know, the Black Lives Matter on TV. I'm not going to see him, you know, bombard. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to see him re- replay everything that happened, you know, throughout the years. I'm going to tell you, like, we have to be accountable for what you are. The same goes for the people. The same goes for the people in power. Who have some type of power. So. We can see accountability. Mm-hmm. In action. When people recognize. To own up to their own. Part of what is occurring. You man up to what you have. Hurtful to someone. They are willing to examine. How their communication. May have been unhealthy or damaging. All right. They don't blame others when they're at fault. They accept it. It's their fault. They take care of it. I take it in. I take it in. I take it in. They don't make excuses for why things aren't happening. That's another one. That's another one. Good. They don't pawn off all responsibility or all failure onto uh, onto their teams or subordinates. So, So if they did this something, they're not saying he did it. One, Mm. you man up to what you did. No No pointing fingers. Two, don't point no fingers and just own up to what you did. If you messed up, you messed up. I feel like nowadays 
in this social media world and all this cancel culture, I feel like people can't heal, man. People cannot, you know, make a mistake. You're not allowed yeah. to make a mistake. You're not allowed to make a mistake ever. Nope. But you know, not everybody's perfect. You know, everybody has their perception of it, of perfection, but we are only human. You know? That's it. We are only humans. We only can carry what we have, you know, we all live in this human experience, like we talked last time in the last episode, that we can. And, yeah, yeah, most definitely. So, even like when I go to do something, if mm-hmm. they're stepping in front and you know, not hiding their head in shame, and doing something proactive to physically fix the situation, that's a good thing. For taking accountability for your actions, right? Uh, and then they also recognize that what is happening in their world, their lives, and careers is being actively shaped by their beliefs and actions. That's a fact, right there. That's a fact. I kind of realize, like you know, success and failure, bro. Mm-hmm. You know when you're successful because you were accountable to it. You took, Mm -hmm. you went in nine and they put the hours to accomplish the goal. But also, when you failed to accomplish a goal, you accountable that you didn't do well enough and you got to do better. Yeah. Accountability. Accountability. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. But none of us want to do, none of us want to have accountability nowadays. (laughs) You know, (laughs) nobody wants to take it. (laughs) If only. Oh boy, man. So brief over like, you know, four different ways you can come accountable. Go too deep in. But, you know, here's some four here's good four ways that you could stop in your tracks and ask, How am I contributing to this problem? Mm-hmm. Any thoughts on that? Hmm. That's a good question. Just to see back and just reflect on Do I everything to... that you've done. Mm-hmm. Like what I did in 2020, would that make me reflect on how I did in 2021? That's a good question. Like, what did I do in 2020 that I can do better in 2021? How can I contribute to fixing this problem? Make a change somehow. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. That's something that it can help not only to what happened today with Derek Chauvin, but it can help to any human being who's alive today that wants to make a change and be more mm-hmm. accountable for mm-hmm. themselves. So, number two, mm-hmm. look at where you feel most hurt in life and get help to heal that. That's fact. The biggest thing in the world. What area do I need help? Sometimes, you know, sometimes a good friend of mine told me, ask your closest friend what mm-hmm. you're good at. And mm-hmm. Go for that. Go from there. Start building a home. Uh, I forgot what the terminology is, but like, start building your blocks together. Your block, yeah. Your people, you know, who are your people you can count on. And then number three, the next time you do something wrong, apologize and make it a real apology. Oh my God, that's a, that. Hold on one second. Some people. I put myself in that list. Sometimes we, you know, it's hard, you know, it's hard to just like be like, switch yourself off and be like, all right, I'm sorry, sorry, babe. Like, I apologize. I I didn't mean to break your heart. I'm sorry. I still love you. I still care for you. You know, I did it wrong and I realized that. It hurts, bro. It hurts to just be like, let's be real, man. You know, like, let's be honest, man. It hurts to just step back and be like, I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I messed up tonight. Yay. I got distracted with my phone. Whatever, you know? Very true. But you got to have the boss to do it. Yeah. And they got to have, you know, the willing to listen to it, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. But if you do it right, they'll always listen. That If it's real from the heart, you will have no problems with it. Yeah. Also, number four, recognize how you're being toxic to others. So, ooh, you know, if 
that officer came straight out and was like, hey, you know, I ain't do that. Fuck y'all type stuff. <laughs> That's toxic. That's okay, super, super toxic. toxic towards a community that don't deserve it. That doesn't want any more of that. And I think they were trying to do that. They were trying to push that narrative. Mm-hmm. Like he was, he was using drugs. He wasn't, he was high on something. Yeah. But in reality, it didn't work out, bro. I didn't, let's be real. It didn't work out. Not at all. You couldn't BS the people, man. People knew exactly what you did that day. Take accountability. Remove the toxicity. Drain it from yourself. Apologize. Make them apologies as real as possible. And, hey, take it from the heart. Grab it from the heart and apologize. It works. It works. And you will feel a lot better in the inside. You know, find those ways of why you're contributing. Just Yeah, figure you know, out why. How it. am I putting my input toward this problem? How did I get myself involved? And how can I stop this problem? Look, even Joe Biden came out today and said, we're moving a step forward after that decision was made in America. Mm-hmm. As a country, we're moving forward. Yep. Because we're always moving forward. But in order to move forward, you got to accept that accountability. You got to come out and just accept it. Like, you know, we messed up. The police department in that area did mess up to allow that. Yeah. And I think they do need, I think the Justice Department needs to start taking accountability in their own sectors too. You know something they, that they, I they heard? They, what's up? So, like, you can, like, let's get, like, you can move to a different state. Let's say if you're a police officer, right, and you messed up in that state, and you can just get transferred mm-hmm. to a different state and just start fresh again. Wow. So, <laughs> you see? You're saying starting fresh? So, like, if I messed up in Maryland right now, and, like, I, I did something bad to somebody that's in the police department, I'd be like, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna just get cut out and go to a different state and start over because, you know, it's a different Different police department. Might, if you if you fucked up in the police department, there might not be a chance for you to get back in the police department, depending on how bad you fucked up. That's why I heard. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, it depends how bad you did it. But if it's not that mm-hmm. bad, you can you know go to a different state and start over and apply again in a different area in a different department. Yeah, most definitely. That's something that was like, whoa, hold up, that's a gap, right? That's a gap. If I effed up right here in Maryland, go to Delaware and start over again, even though I, I did something bad, terrible. But, but that's the thing, though. It depends on how bad you did it. Like, But at the same thing, you never should run from your problems. Mm. You, you got to learn how to fix them first before you Ray, push on. Yeah, you got to really does, does deal make, with them. Does that make seconds? Yeah, of course. That's something that I never understood that part. Like People just run away from the problem and be like, I don't want to deal with it tonight right now. I just want to... I'll, I'll, let's push that away. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, let's push yeah. that away. Bye-bye. 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 So we're moving forward, man. Joe Biden said it. We're stepping forward. I love it. I love it. Let's well, let's talk about Dogecoin, boy. Tell me about something about Dogecoin, man. Let's 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 end this podcast talking about Dogecoin, man. I know that you invested in Dogecoin when it was when, when was the when did you invest in Dogecoin? Uh, last year, I think. No, it might have been in the beginning of this year. I can't remember exactly. It was. I think it might have been the beginning of this year. The beginning of back, this year. Yeah, it was back when it was like three to like two three cents. Damn, I bought into. it. And now it's up to thirty cents. Wait, it actually shot up. So it's been acting kind of funny, you know. Everybody claimed this was Doge Day, you know, saying four twenty, you know, pump it up. <laughs> it ain't happened. It was the deadest, deadest trail ever, and it sunk. It the max that Doge gotten up to was, I believe, forty three cents. Mm-hmm. And then. It fell all the way back down to twenty five cents. What is going on with Dogecoin, man? Everybody's like, it's, it's something's happening. Something's happening. Yeah. 
but it, it's doing it gradually and it's not going to do it overnight it's going to take time and the more and more people get on board with it the more it's going to keep skyrocketing because I know the story behind Dogecoin, something like it was st- started for fun, you know. They just made what was it like? It, it was a it was a meme coin. Exactly, it was a meme a meme coin. Yeah, the the Shiba Inu, I think it is. Yeah, but the now dog. it's getting so strong, like people are putting it's, their faith in it. Yeah, they're putting their faith in it, and you know they're putting all this money that they're making and whatnot, whatnot, like. Let's turn into a real thing. Like people, people like I said, imagine putting a thousand dollars into Dogecoin when it was at two cents. You would have probably roughly made about eight, nine grand by now. <sighs> yeah. It's crazy. And then when it goes all the way up, say it hits like ten dollars before the end of the year. That thousand, time, take that thousand and times it by ten. Well, you have ten. Well, yeah, you would have ten thousand dollars. 